Hey guys, Doug B here. Today we're going to look at using scene controllers with the Axe FX3. Now I don't really think this is going to be a very long video because scene controllers is a really straightforward concept, pretty easy to understand. Ready? Let's get into it. The scene controller allows you to set a static controller value for a particular parameter in each scene, basically overriding the setting in the block. So for example, you could set different gain values for the amp block, or different tremolo speeds for the pan trem block. There are four scene controllers per preset, and each scene controller has eight different values, one for each scene. Okay, but why would you want to use scene controllers? Well, let's say that you want to use the same amp in the scenes of a preset, but each scene needs to have a different drive level. If you use the same amp block and channel in each scene, you can't adjust the drive in one scene without changing it in all scenes. You would have to use different channels in the amp block and then pick a different channel for each scene adjusting the drive level in each scene. Now, of course, you can do that. I mean, it is an option, but scene controllers are a lot simpler. You can use one of the four scene controllers in a preset to change the gain in the amp block with a different value for all eight scenes. Scene controllers are classified as internal controllers. Internal controllers are part of every Axe FX3 preset. Each preset has the following internal controllers. One tempo, two LFOs, two ADSRs, a sequencer, a pitch detector, an envelope follower, four scene controllers, and five manual controllers. Internal controllers are classified as modifiers. Modifiers allow sound parameters to be automated or remote controlled. For example, you might use an expression pedal to operate a wah, use an LFO to oscillate a filter, or use MIDI to adjust a reverb. Currently, there are 75 different choices to use as modifier sources. In addition to internal controllers, the expression jacks of the Axe FX3 and the pedal or switch jacks of a connected FC6 or FC12 can be assigned directly as modifier sources. Control switch functions allow the switches of a connected FC controller to be used directly as modifier sources. Finally, there are external controllers. Those are modifier sources which in turn have their own global assignments to determine what controls them. The 16 external controllers can each be individually assigned to your choice of any MIDI control change message, one of the onboard expression or pedal jacks, or one of the pedal or switch jacks of a connected FC controller. Now we'll go more in depth into modifiers in an upcoming video, but for this one we are just going to focus on scene controllers. I created a preset just so I can quickly show you how scene controllers work. Preset 394 is called Scene Controllers. And it has four scenes, gritty, more gritty, filthy, and blatant. The drive block is using the T808OD in channel A. The amp block is using the 65 bass guy normal in channel A. The cab block is using a 4x10 super verb in channel A. The delay is using the Zephyr type in channel A. And the reverb is using the studio type in channel A. Now I have all four scene controllers changing parameters in each scene. Drive in the drive block, that's scene controller 1. Drive in the amp block, that's scene controller 2. Time in the delay block is scene controller 3. And time in the reverb block is scene controller 4. Now I'll click on controllers, which brings up the list of internal controllers, plus CS per scene, and modifiers. Clicking on scene control 1 and 2 brings up a panel with the values for drive in the drive block, scene 1 right here, scene 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then drive in the amp block down here, scene control 2, scene 1, scene 2, scene 3, scene 4. You know, I just duplicated them for simplicity's sake. I'll clicking on scene control 3 and 4, brings up a panel with the values for time for delay. That's scene control 3, scene, scene 1, scene 2, scene 3, and scene 4. And then scene controller 4 is time for the reverb block. And there's scene 1, scene 2, scene 3, and scene 4. Now let me show you the drive block in scene 1. You can see that the drive is set to 2.50. That value will change as I change the scenes. See? Scene 2, now it's 5.00. Scene 3, now it's 6.50. Scene 4, now it's 7.50. Now you can't manually change it in the drive block either. You try to change it, it'll just revert back to the value specified by the scene controller. All right, let's build a simple preset and set up scene controllers. Let's go to 395, which is empty. Now I'm just going to mimic the prior preset using four scenes, so let's use quick build. In one, out one, connect them, drive, amp, cab, delay, and reverb. So, 
Well, now we turn off Quick Build. Okay, we've got our first scene created. Now let's click on Scene Manager. Scene Manager will allow me to set up the other three scenes to match Scene 1. We're going to change Amp 1 here to Drive 1, Cab to Amp 1, Delay 1, and Reverb 1. Scene Manager allows you to take any four of the blocks from the grid, and then you can specify what channels they'll use, and you can specify if they're active or in bypass. So right now, for the first four scenes, for all four blocks, it's set to channel A. Turn off Scene Manager. Okay, Drive Block is using the T808OD, and you can see now that the Drive parameter has a default value of 5.00. But you see this yellow circle here underneath it? That means that this parameter can be adjusted using modifiers. The Tone parameter can also be adjusted. It has a yellow circle on it. Any of these knobs that have a yellow circle underneath it can be adjusted using a modifier. So we right click on the drive knob and it brings up the edit modifier panel. Click on source one here where it says none. And again, there's that list of 75 modifiers. We'll choose scene controller one. And now we can close this box. The yellow circle under drive is now solid, showing that it's being controlled by a modifier. Okay, click on the controllers button in the upper left hand corner. This brings up the list of internal controllers, plus CS per scene and modifiers. Clicking on Scene Control 1 and 2 brings up a panel with the values for Scene Controller 1 and Scene Controller 2. Right now they're all set to zero. Under Scene Control 1, I'll make 1 be 25%, Scene 2 will be 50%, Scene 3 will be 65%, Scene 4 will be 75%. Now let's go back to the drive block and look. Scene 1, the drive parameter is now 2.5. In Scene 2, it's 5.00. In Scene 3, it's 6.50. And in Scene 4, it's 7.50. They're all using the same amp block and channel. That's how scene controllers work. Now let's go to the amp block. I'm using the 65 Bass Guy Normal in Channel A. Now, I've noticed that the bass can get a little woofy when drive increases, so I'm going to use Scene Controller 2 to adjust the bass parameter. So we right click on base, go up to source one, and use scene controller two. Close this box. Now we click on controllers. Under scene controller two, I'll make scene one be 50%, scene two will be 40%, scene three will be 35%, and scene four will be 30%. So now a quick check of the amp block. In scene one, we can see that base is 5.00. In 2, it goes down to 4.00. In 3, it goes down to 3.50. And in 4, it goes down to 3.00. So, yep, it does match up with the values in Scene Controller 2. Okay, now in the delay block, let's use the Zephyr type in Channel A. We're going to adjust the time parameter using Scene Controller 3. This is a little trickier because this delay can go from 1 to 16,000 milliseconds. So we right-click. We give it Scene Control 3. Okay, close the box. Click on Controllers. Go down to Scene Control 3 and 4. Right now, they're both set at 0. Okay, we're going to try 1%, 3%, 5%, and 6%. Now when we go back to the Delay block, you can see that in Scene 1, that comes out to 161 milliseconds. In Scene 2, it's 321 milliseconds. Scene 3, it's 801 milliseconds. And scene 4, it's 961 milliseconds. That's fine for now. We can also, you know, we can adjust these values later. Okay, finally we'll go to the reverb block. And we're going to use the studio type. Again in channel A. And on this one we're going to adjust the mix parameter so that when the delay time goes up, the reverb mix goes down. So right click on mix. Click up here on None, give it Scene Controller 4, Close, Controllers, down here to Scene Controller 4, let's try 20%, 15%, 12%, and 10%. Okay, let's close that. Let's take a look at the reverb block. Mix in Scene 1 is 20%, Scene 2 is 15%, Scene 3 is 12%, and Scene 4 is 10%. So again, the reverb mix parameter is being controlled by Scene Controller 4, and it's working perfectly. Okay, now we need to name the scenes in the preset. We'll call the preset uh, SC 2.0, 
and we'll name each scene after the drive value. Scene one is drive 2.50. Scene two is drive 5.00. Scene three is drive 6.50. And scene four is drive 7.50. So let's take a look at those again. One, two, three, four. Okay, go back to scene one, hit save, and now it's time to check it out. Now, you could always add a looper block to the beginning of the chain and record a riff so that you can use it for fine-tuning the scenes, or you can just sit in front of your computer, play guitar, and adjust accordingly. However you do it, have fun. All right, guys, let's check out these scenes that we just created. Now, first scene is called Drive 2.50. Kind of sounds something like this. Hey! Now, I had the volume turned down a little bit on the guitar. Here's what it sounds like at full volume. Just a little bit overdriven. Let's put that on the bridge pickup. All right, let's try scene two. That's drive 5.00. Let's try scene three. And now we'll look at scene four, which is drive 7.50. So there you have it guys, scene controllers. Just another way that Fractal has made preset and scene creation a lot more easy for us, a lot simpler to use. All right, now next week we're gonna look at setting up a Leslie pedal. Now you don't wanna miss that, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right guys, see you then.